first Janet, now we may lose Annika too? No. Over my dead body. Debbie, what are you screaming about? Charlie and I could hear you down the hall. Are you alright? How odd that you should be asking about my feelings, since you were the ones who took Janet from me. I could only accept it because I knew you were trustworthy people. But now I may lose Annika too. To a couple that should never have her. Debbie, you didn't lose Janet to anyone. She is still family to you, Carrie and Richard and I will never say otherwise. But you already had Richard and Annika, so we felt you didn't need to have three kids to care for. We thought we were doing you a favor by asking to take her. I guess that's one way to see it, but I did want her anyway. And who is trying to take Annika from you now? Not that couple we knew about before? No, those were Annika's great uncle and aunt and they agreed to give up their claim to her. This other couple are Annika's actual grandparents. They rejected their son Charles because they were homophobes. They also disowned their daughter, Annika's mother, because she was a drug addict. And yet they think they can just swoop in and take Annika because they are her relatives by blood. Have you talked to Carrie about this? She is not home yet. She's been working on a case as a detective. I'm glad we finally finished examining all that evidence. Right. So now that we can prove our case, let's arrest that domestic abuser. You can do that. Yourself tomorrow morning. I need to go home to Debbie. Good night. Ah, uh, Carrie? Oh. Carrie, are you sure you are alright? You look really ill. Yes. I'm just... Oh my head. So dizzy. So... And then Carrie collapses in the police car. Realizing the situation is serious, Officer Kelly Grimm immediately turns the car around and heads to the hospital. And then about an hour later... Father. What's happening? I... Seem to be losing my ability to speak. Based on the symptoms you and Sergeant Grimm described, you could be having a stroke. It's only a minor one, but it could have damaged the speech center of your brain, limiting your ability to speak. Oh no. How can this be? I'm only 25. Your age doesn't matter. Strokes can hit someone of any age. Carrie. Kelly Grimm just told me what happened. Are you alright? Debbie, I am so sorry. My speech is becoming slower due to a stroke. I have failed you. Nonsense. You suffering a stroke or some other medical condition is not a failure. Let me take you home and I will care for you. If that is all right, Dr. Lessie. Yes, you may take her. But bring her back tomorrow for an additional examination by Dr. Ferris our heart and cardiovascular specialist. She will give Carrie a more exact diagnosis and prescribed treatments. Good night. 